Welcome everybody to a new series for my channel and it is Stardew Valley. Now this is a game by Concerned Ape who um, you might know because he also developed a game called Starbound which was quite popular. Um, it looks like this game is going to be more in the vein of rather Stardew Valley, um, sorry, Starbound was more in the vein of the sort of Terraria style game. It looks like Stardew Valley is going to be more the sort of Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing sort of kind of game. Only for PC, because a lot of those games before have been for the consoles. So I am really, really excited to have something like this to play on the PC. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to get started. Okay, so... Firstly, I am a girl. I am not a boy. Secondly, I have blue eyes. Blue eyes. I am quite happy with my dungarees. But I do think that they would benefit from being purple. Yes. No, definitely like the dungarees. Can't quite change the top of them though. But I don't think that matters at all. Okay, so what we're going to call our our uh, oh, so we're going to call ourselves Sheila. And then we're going to call our farm. What are we going to call our farm? I'll think on that. Favorite thing is chocolates because that is my favorite thing in the entire world ever, 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 ever. Um, I'm going to name the farm after, I think, one of my subscribers who has um, shown me a lot of support so far. Uh, I'm going to call this for Tom Nix. Oh! There we go. Uh, I do prefer cats to dogs, usually. So that's fine. Mm, anything more I want to do? So I'm not sure about the colour of this shirt, but I can't change the shirt colour for some reason. Nah, let's go for it. Okay, so we have green Santa Claus. I think is our grandfather. Okay, so. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Thank you, Grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Doesn't know me very well. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I th sounds like he's talking from experience here. When that happens, my dear, you will be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. And a few years later, I'm guessing. Oh, good grief, look where I'm working. Oh. Well, it's like a, oh, factory of people working on big, outdated computers with Woody from Toy Story and that guy was terminated and that guy's dead uh, and I don't want to be dead oh that's me yeah, I'm guessing that's me with the thought bubble hello me hello Shelab so that's me at my desk with my very outdated computer and my two button mouse and I'm looking very dejected. I'm guessing that, like, this must be set in the 80s or something. Okay, so. I'm going to open my envelope. Oh, some nice sort of nostalgic music going on there for me to read my letter to. Okay, so, dear Shelab, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other, other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. But 
Tumnix Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure will, Grandpa. It's always so handy in these games how you always have some long-lost relative who, like, happens to have some big plot of land that you can just take over and and live off the land and grow your own stuff and get out of your horrible office job. So very, very convenient. Okay, off we go. Stardew Valley, half a mile. Full of little birdies. Cheep, cheep. Okay, so we have arrived. And we've met Robin. So she says, hello, you must be Shelab. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. So we'll follow Robin to the farm. Oh, what a nice little farm I have. A little overgrown, though. This is for Tumnick's farm. Look how excited I am! I'm very excited. Or, uh, or is there something matter? Oh no! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. How ungrateful! I am so ungrateful for my farm. I've been given this whole farm and all I can think about is how overgrown it is. And then I've got to do a bit of work to get it in order. Oh, honestly, work shy she lab. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, she lab. Honestly. And here we are, your new home. Oh, it looks lovely. Oh, and Lewis was still there. Okay. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. Cool. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Robin, don't be so rude about my house. Yeah, that, that's what Lewis said. Rude. Don't listen to her, Shelab. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Well, it wouldn't be a game like this without a house upgrade. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Yeah, I'll go see some of them tomorrow. I'll check out my farm first. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. That is a bit creepy that you're going to be creeping around my house, like collecting stuff in the middle of the night, but never mind. Okay. Progress has been saved. I'm guessing that I have. Oh, no. How do I move? How do I get out of bed? So, move is WASD. There we are. That's a bit better. And I have some parsnip seeds. Very nice. I can make myself a little farm outside. Oh, and they're from Mayor Lewis. And he says, here's a little something to get you started. 
What a nice man. Can I interact with these things? Oh, I can just like take everything. Oh, I can have a look at the TV. That's cool. So I can get a weather report. That That's actually kind of handy. So welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Well, they have better weather in Stardew Valley than I have where I am. Let's put it that way, because it's very cold here. Oh, I see, so I can move this around, put it down. Very handy. I think I might just put my bowl back on the table. I really probably shouldn't have taken that off. All oh, right, I've got a journal over here, so let's have a quick look. So getting started. If I want to become a farmer, I have to start with the basics. Use my hoe to till the soil and use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Fairly standard stuff. Water every day until the crop is ready for a harvest. So cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Yes, and that's my little quest there. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around the town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. So I've met two people, which would be Robin and Lewis, and I need to get another 26. Well, I think that's a good place to start. So I think we'll start. Looks like I can just, oh, I'll use my hot bar there. Um, and I think I need to clear some stuff out of the way. It looks like I can get rid of these with the hoe. Some of them take a bit longer. That won't go anywhere. Let's see if the branch will get out of the way. Right, so I'm guessing pickaxe must be to get rid of the stones. Yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to... I'm not going to go overboard with clearing this place out. If I was playing on my own, I would probably clear this entire field. Just because I'm funny like that. But because you guys are watching, I, I'm not going to put you through that. There's some firewood... Okay, I think that's a big enough space to start tilling, so let's start tilling the ground. So I imagine that... Uh, is that my hoe? Yes, there we are. Oops. So I have to be quite near to actually hoe the ground there. So, okay, and then I've got my parsnips. And I can just, oh, there we are, plant those. This is actually very easy. It's a lot easier than some of the console games where I sometimes find it a little bit tricky with a controller. But because you're having to sort of use the mouse here, it's actually quite um, easy to tell it where to put things and, and all that sort of thing. So that's really good. There's an axe there. I wonder if I can chop down these little trees with an axe. I can. Oh, I've got four wood for that. That's quite good. Right now, it looks like my watering can is all full of water. So I need to water these seeds. And then hopefully they'll grow. So if I give them a quick water. And then we'll maybe go and see if we can find some of those 26 people that I need to meet. Sounds like this game's going to have quite a lot of people. Yes. Okay. Off I go. So there's going to be someone, someone this way, no doubt. Oh, I can sprint. Sprinting sounds like a much better idea. <laughs> there we go. Are oh, there any people here? Oh, that looks like a hospital. Let's go in there and see if there's a, a doctor. And it looks like there's a, a shop or something next door. Oh, and there's a notice board. Okay, we'll check out the notice board first. Uh, or we can water it. Yeah, I think do that instead. I think I needed to right click there, not left click. Okay, so there's a calendar saying that it's the first day of spring. On the 10th, we've got Vincent's birthday. 7th, we've got Lewis's birthday. 14th, we've got Haley's birthday. The 13th is an egg festival, so I wonder whether I maybe need to try and get some chickens by then. Pam, Shane, Emily, Pierre. And then we've got a flower dance on the 24th. Okay. 
you know, tr we can try and do things for all of those. But let's go in. Oh, this is a big shop. I'm used to the shops in these sort of games being really tiny and you just literally have a, a room with a counter in it. I'm not used to having shelves and things, so that's a nice touch, I think. And I'm going to water everything. I am sorry that I keep watering everything. That I'm just so rude and I come into your shop and I spill water all over the floor. What an idiot I am. Okay. So we have met Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving to that old farm. Hi, Abigail. Oh, and that must be... I'm guessing that that's Pierre. Maybe. So I can get a bean starter. Oh, right. So that seems to be like... The parsnip, I think, is the, the ones that grow quite quickly. Um, and then you, you pull them up and you start again and you just keep rotating the crop around. Whereas I think the beans are like one that lasts the whole season, but you just keep harvesting off them uh, multiple times. So it does take sort of half the season to grow the, the beanstalk to start with. Um, cauliflower seeds, that looks like a really long plant and you don't keep producing. So it's probably something that sells for quite a lot of money. And it looks like potatoes are sort of in the middle. And I seem to have 500 coins. At the moment, I'm just going to keep them and just, just have a chat, chat with people, have a walk around, see what's going on. Who's this then? This is Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, you didn't have much to say for yourself, did you? I'll try speaking to her again. Just in case I clicked something wrong. Oh, here we are. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Oh, there. it would be a bit rubbish if they started me in winter, wouldn't it? Just sitting in my house in the cold with nothing to plant. And this is Caroline. Hello, you must be Sheilab, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Okay, do you have anything else to say, Caroline? My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Yes, she seemed very nice. She can be my friend, I've decided. Have a little look around here. Can I go through these doors or not? I'm not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. All right, I see. We'll work on that, don't you worry. I like the cushions and things. So what's through here then? Get through the door. What's this then? The altar of Yoba. Oh, it's like a church, a little cathedrally churchy thing. Uh, probably more a chapel actually, because it's sort of connected to the shop. I think a chapel is the right word for it. And the kitchen. I probably had better not steal all the baked goods. There's a note there. Shall I read it? They'll go into other people's houses and read their notes. Here we are. To Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Jar Jar, oh sorry, Jojo Co. <gasps> That's who I worked for. Oh no. Has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protests. Jojo builders have already broken ground for the new Jojo Mart. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, a local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient economy, sorry, economically viable corporation. What a shame. As a manager of the new Jojo Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer. Wages start at five gold an hour. I look forward to seeing your resume. Mr. Morris, manager, Pelican Town, Jojo Mart. No, Pierre! Don't go and work for Jojo Mart! Stay... independent! Don't sell out to those corporate, greedy Jojo people. Okay. I'm going to go talk to Pierre again, see if he's got any opinion on, on the Jojo people. 
moving into his, you know, his area. Or whether he'll just try and sell me more stuff. Let's see. No, he doesn't have anything to say for himself. Leah might have something to say for herself about that. No, apparently not. She's not saying anything to me at all. Okay. We'll leave this place then. We'll go next door to the uh, hospital. See if anyone wants to talk to me there. So let's see. In my journal... I have now introduced myself to 28 people. But I haven't cultivated and harvested any parsnips yet because they're still growing. That's fine. I just watered his door. And they are open from 9 until 3. Where does it tell me the time? There. Probably a little bit later in the day. It looks like it's getting towards evening time now. I don't know if it tells me the time any more precisely than that, but we'll have to see. Uh, the Star Drop Saloon, Foods and Spirits. That looks like a place that might be open. There's also some people around here I can speak to. Who are you? Come back here. I will water you. Okay, there's someone sitting on a bench. They might be a bit easier to, to track down. An old lady over here, actually. Who are you? That is Evelyn. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay. Who's this? Penny! Hi. Oh, did you want something? I want to know who you are, what you're doing, what you're up to. No, you didn't really say much. So we've got Maru here. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Hi, Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Ah, thank you, Maru. I'm guessing that you could probably, sort of similar to things like Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon, the sort of the more you talk to people, the more they'll sort of open up. Oh, here's Lewis. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Anything more to say? No. He's off to here. Where is this then? Is this his house? Oh, he's got a nice house. Very nice house. I don't think I've got anything more to say to me though, unfortunately. I won't be allowed in his bedroom probably because it's going to be... He won't be uh, liking me quite enough yet. No, not good enough friends. Oh well. Now there was a sort of pub thing around here, wasn't there? There we are, the saloon. Oh, there's a, a dog kennel there. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. And I'll see you around, okay? There's a dog in there. We're not dog people, we're cat people. I said so when I set up the character. What's in here then? Someone else's. Is that Evelyn? Is this Evelyn's house? Is that her husband or something? George. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Oomph. Okay. All right, so you get a little down arrow when they've got more to say. Okay. I will remember this. She's got nothing to say to me, apparently. Let's see what else we've got around here. Uh, people's bedrooms that I won't probably be allowed in. Oh, that wasn't too interesting in there. There's a caravan over there. 
I think I'll go in the saloon first though. There might be more people in there. We might be able to get things. Oh yeah, there's a proper bar and everything in here. What else have we got around here then? Hey kid, the name's Pam. I can't, I can't even remember if we met Pam already. So let's just see on our, our thing. 11 people now. And I'm liking the, the saloon music. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Oh, right. So here's the owner. That's cool. See, lots of people so far, but they're, they've not got much to say to me other than just hello, really. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Funny that, considering we're in the saloon. Okay. Oh, there's a new person. Who are you? Oh, hi, I'm Clint. And that's all he has to say. Are you having a drink there? Shane, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Well, to be fair, if someone random just came up to me, I might feel a little bit the same. But I do feel that that is a little bit unfriendly. <gasps> they have an arcade? This place is so cool. Oh! Oh, we have a mini game. I've been playing this for like 10 minutes and I've already found the mini game that I will suck at. If anyone's seen me play Undertale, you'll know how much I suck at mini games. How do I shoot? How do I shoot? How do I shoot? No! Oh, okay, with the down arrow. Oh no! Alright, oh, it does tell me. So, item, move, shoot. Alright, okay. Oof, 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 oof. Oh sorry, I will stop making sound effects. It's probably a little bit off-putting. Oh, I'm dead! I'm probably going to run out of lives very soon. Oh, yes, I am very suckable at this game. Okay, I don't think we want to play that too much. <gasps> Jojo Machine! That's a very nice place. I'm going to just quickly see what the other game is. Now I know that the arcade games actually work. Let's see if this works. No, apparently not. Just that one, I think. No? How did I get that to work? Hang on. Yeah, right click. Oh, there's a skull shaped keyhole. Oh, right. So that's a secret unlockable kind of arcade game. And just a bunch of barrels up there. Okay, I feel that I have thoroughly explored the saloon now. I think up there is just people's bedrooms again. I'll have a quick look. Yeah, I don't think I can get through. Oh no, 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 there are there are a little a little sort of um living room up here. I'll look in there. It's all pretty much just decorative stuff though. Okay. I think it's probably time for us to go and see if our parsnips have grown any and possibly go to bed. Let's go and have a look. Because it's the middle of the night, I have stayed up a little bit too long drinking in the bar. You can tell how this playthrough is going to go. She labs farm. Left to be dilapidated. I go to rack and ruin because she spends the whole game drinking in the bar. What was that? I could have sworn I saw like a spider or something in the background. And that creeped me out quite a lot. Okay, I'm going back in my house. I am very creeped out. So time to go to bed. Oops.
No, I can't go to bed. I should be able to. It's getting late. Oh, space. No, C apparently does the same as left click. All right. Uh... Hmm. Well, oh dear. You would think, I mean, maybe enter? No? Right click seems to be the interact thing. Oh, okay, so you just have to literally walk into the bed. Okay, so if anybody playing this who doesn't know how to go to bed, that's how you do it. <laughs> Sorry, this is blind, so there is going to be a little bit of working very simple things out, unfortunately. I didn't feel that that was the most intuitive. I think it's more uh, intuitive to stand next to the bed and press enter or click on it or something, not to walk actually into it. But never mind. Let's go to sleep for the night. And now we are in the morning. So I'm going to have a quick look at my turnips. And then I think we're going to end the episode for today. Oh, I think they may have grown a little bit. Uh, let's give them a water. I don't know whether watering them once a day or more than once a day um, is beneficial yet anyone does know you can maybe pop a little comment and let me know once you've had a bit of a chance to experiment with the game okay yeah, so that's them watered and I'll maybe just have a quick look at my mail hello there just got back from a fishing trip you should come down to the beach sometime I've got something for you willy okay well, I think that that's it. That's it for this episode. Um, if you liked the episode, then please leave a like on the channel. And if you want to see more Stardew Valley or more Undertale, whichever you'd prefer, really, um, then subscribe to the channel and you'll be able to see in your feed what I'm up to. Um, thank you all very much for joining me for this first episode. And until the next time I see you, keep being awesome. <laughs>